You are listening to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast with your host, licensed massage therapist, Kyle Pleasant. Here, we will be discussing topics on health and wellness, as well as self-improvement and his experiences as a legally blind massage therapist. And now, here's your host, Kyle. Hello and welcome to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast. I am your host, Kyle Pleasant. So this week, uh, or the last few weeks at least, for me, um, I've been kind of a little bit on a diet. And I like a lot of you out there, I mean, COVID has been pretty demanding, not only in in the world, but, you know, just on, on, on our daily life or health in general and so for me because we're you know we've been home a lot and hadn't been able to go out and do different things you know it can make us a little bit more sedentary and a little less active and so for me I've uh, uh, put on a few COVID pounds you know and I'm sure that you know this some of you out there that can relate to that, where we just kind of, uh, if you could stand to use a few extra pounds, you know, just to kind of get back into our, you know, regular routines of getting out and getting a little bit more exercise. Now that the weather is changing and the restrictions are going down in a lot of places, you know, it's definitely a good idea to be able to get out and uh, just get your 10,000 steps in but because I'm on a diet just reducing like some carbs and getting more exercise and eating more vegetables it's you know got me a little bit more mindful about diet as a topic itself and you know things that I come across is that for for me it's not just about the calories but eating in general can be a mindful activity and I've talked several times on this podcast about the importance of being mindful just being aware about the things that you do whether it is you know going for a walk washing dishes but it also can translate into eating uh uh, my wife and I went to one of these uh mindful meditation seminars a a while back and one of the exercises was that the instructor gave everybody a a grape and what we had to do was that she had us for a few minutes just look at the grape and then a few more minutes then she had us feel the grape in our hands and to smell the grape and then put the grape in our mouth, but not chew it, but just, you know, enjoy the texture in our mouth. And then, you know, then she had us chew the grape slowly, you know, savoring the flavor of the grape before we finally um, swallowed it. But this process took, you know, quite a bit of time because the intent on the exercise was to enjoy the process of eating and you use something simple as a grape to demonstrate how we can slowly enjoy the process of eating. And I've also talked about on this podcast um, about stress and what affects stress, particularly cortisol, has on the body. Cortisol is a stress hormone. And one thing about cortisol is that when you're in that fight or flight response and our cortisol levels are increased it increases inflammation on the body and it inhibits digestion and it slows down the metabolism because it's using the body's resources to protect itself against whatever danger that it's coming across if you're running from a saber saber tooth tiger then you know your body is not really in in the process of digesting that meal you just ate 
And so in our society, when we're stressed out and we're eating on the run, eating on the go, it inhibits and slows down our metabolism and it can be a primary source of weight gain on the body because our metabolism's slowed down because our stress level is high. And so the one thing about being mindful, especially whenever it is that you're sitting down to a meal, is instead of rushing to finish the meal and getting up and uh, and, and working on a, another task or eating on the go and fast food, maybe sitting down and enjoying the meal. When I was a kid, my mother always taught me to chew my food at least 20 times. And it wasn't just so that, you know, the body could uh, break down the nutrients a little bit better, but it was more for the fact if, if you sat and you were mindful about chewing your food 20 times, then you're not stressed out and you're not you know, raising those cortisol levels, but you're being mindful about the food that you're eating. You know, you're actually tasting the food and you're enjoying the process of eating and you can sit there with your family or or even on your own and enjoy your meal, which is to me is like the most important part of the meal is to be able to enjoy it. And it, to me, it's also important not just about what you eat because I mean you know you there are different types of calories that you can get in your body you can have the calories an apple or you can have the calories of a donut and the of course even though they have the same amount of calories the apple is going to be better for you because you're going to absorb that fiber versus the donut which is an empty calorie and so If you're sitting and enjoying the meal, then the the nutrients of that apple are going to be absorbed and digested a lot easier because you're not stressed out and because you're not um, trying to run to the next thing and and your metabolite, it's going to metabolize a lot faster in your body because there's no, not as, the cortisol levels aren't as high. When you think about like the Italians, well, many Ital, uh, Italy is probably one of the healthiest countries in the world, even though a lot of Italian dishes uh, are p- filled with carbs and calories and pos- from pasta and, and, and meat sauces and things like that. Um, the typical Italian meal can take hours. You sit down to several courses of with your family and you're enjoying the meal. You're enjoying the company. You're enjoying chewing your food and, and smelling and tasting all the different flavors. So these examples are just something to you know think about whenever you're sitting down to a meal or anything that you're doing in your life, whether it's just going for a walk, washing your dishes, is just to sit and in, just to enjoy the process, to enjoy the meal and being mindful about the things that you're doing on a daily basis. And you'll find that your stress level is a lot lower and your enjoyment of all these activities are going to be better because you're more aware, because you're more conscious about what it is that you're doing. So anyone out there that is looking to lose a little weight during and, you know, lose a little COVID weight, well, just be mindful about what you're eating and everything into moderation. And you'll find that if you're enjoying your food, then it's going to be better absorbed into your system. So I hope something in there um, resonates with somebody out there. And, and of course, if you have any thoughts or ideas or suggestions, podcast at pleasantspirit.com is how to reach out to me or the voicemail feature here on the bottom in the show notes. And until next time, be well and have a pleasant day. Thank you for listening to the Pleasant Spirit Podcast. We hope you found today's show informative. Please take a moment to write a review. And if you want to reach out or have show ideas, you can email 
at podcast at pleasantspirit.com. You can also visit his website at pleasantspirit.com. If you are in the Portland, Oregon area, you can schedule a massage or one of his coaching services at pleasanttouchmassage.com. See you next time and always be well.